From the day I first logged into the AWS console, it took me about a year to really feel confident in AWS. That's also the year I got my first AWS certification. But one more year after that, I started feeling like Tony Stark in the cloud lab with all these virtual tools around me that I could combine together to build whatever I wanted. And that was the dream. But now the question is, can you break into cloud computing way faster than I did? And the answer is yes, absolutely. I wasted countless hours on disjointed YouTube tutorials and spent tons of money on courses that didn't provide any real understanding. And so I'll show you how you can take the exact opposite path. So if I could start over with AWS, knowing what I know now, how would I do it? Well, that's exactly what this video is about. I've cut out all the fluff and will give you the optimal path to go from zero to a full-time cloud computing role. And stick around because I'll also share the three biggest mistakes that almost everyone makes when starting out with AWS and that will save you years of struggle. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is to pick a role to aim for. And in cloud computing, there are multiple paths that you can take. Cloud engineer, DevOps engineer, solutions architect, AI engineer, or even machine learning engineer. And if you're just starting, I highly recommend targeting the AWS Cloud Practitioner Certification. It's the easiest way to get your foot in the door and really understand the cloud basics. And then from there, you can specialize. Then once you've chosen a role, the next step is learning the core AWS services. And I'd start with the big three, EC2, S3, and RDS. These three services are the backbone of most AWS architectures. EC2 is all about virtual servers, S3 handles storage, and RDS covers databases. And the good news, AWS has an extensive free tier that allows you to play and experiment with these services without spending a dime, as long, of course, as you stay within the limits of the free tier. And trust me, you don't want to repeat the same mistake I made when I was a beginner, when I exceeded the free tier and getting hit with a surprise bill. All right, next, of course, you need to get hands on. And this is where most beginners make their first major mistake. They only learn by watching others. They learn passively, which can give you a real false sense of progress. Because really, what you have to do is put your hands on real world projects so that you can put everything that you learn into practice. Because indeed, cloud computing isn't about memorizing definitions. It's about solving real world problems. And so the best way to learn AWS is to build indeed real world projects. And you can start simple. Start by, for example, creating a static website and hosting it on S3. And then you can move on to deploying a multi-tier application with an EC2 instance, an RDS database, and an application load balancer. For practice, I recommend the AWS Skill Builder platform for guided labs. It offers hands-on exercises tailored to real-world scenarios, helping you build confidence with AWS tools and services. Then it's time to level up with Infrastructure as Code or IAC. IAC is the practice of defining and managing your cloud architecture using code rather than configuring it through a visual interface. This approach allows for consistency, scalability and version control, making it essential for professional grade projects. Basically, IAC is what separates the hobbyists from the professionals. And here is what I recommend to do if you want to get into IAC, you know, at that level. I recommend starting with AWS Cloud Formation, then you move on to AWS CDK, Cloud Development Kit, and finally, you end up your journey with Terraform. Now, as you're learning, don't try to solve every problem on your own. And this is the second major mistake beginners make. The AWS documentation can be dense and it's very easy to get stuck. So try to be part of a community where you can ask some questions whenever you encounter some obstacles and where you can get an answer fast so that you can overcome the obstacle and progress efficiently with your learning or practicing. And remember this, even experienced cloud professionals rely on community resources. Now let's talk about certifications. After the AWS Cloud Practitioner Certification, your next step should be either 
the Certified AI Practitioner Certification, and I'll say much more on that at the end of this video, or the Solutions Architect Associate Certification. Solutions Architect Associate covers the important skills that employers are looking for, like designing scalable and cost-effective architectures. And once you've got that under your belt, you can specialize further with other more advanced certifications, like the Solutions Architect Professional or DevOps Professional, depending, of course, on your career goals. But now keep in mind this very important thing. Certifications alone won't get you a job. They are a necessity, but they are not sufficient. And that brings us to the most important step, building and growing your portfolio. If you're already working in IT, find opportunities to use AWS in your current role. And if not, start your own personal projects, like for example, our interactive labs that we do within CloudWolf every month. Then make sure to document all your projects on GitHub and write about everything you do on LinkedIn. For example, you could create a blog post detailing how you deployed a serverless application using AWS Lambda and API Gateway. It's really important that you do this because recruiters highly value and actually value the most your experience. And what is the most tangible proof of your experience? It's of course your portfolio. And speaking of LinkedIn, pimp up your profile because this is where the magic happens. Add cloud computing and of course all your AWS certifications to not only your headline, but also your summary and your experience sections. Because remember that recruiters use LinkedIn as a search engine, so they need to be able to find you whenever they're looking for cloud talents. And once your profile is optimized and all your certifications displayed prominently, you can either start applying for jobs or let the recruiters find you and trust me, they will. And that's because cloud skills are simply so in demand right now in the job market. And now let's address the third major mistake, giving up too soon. Indeed, breaking into cloud computing isn't just a sprint, it's a marathon. And in order to survive all along the marathon, the key is discipline and consistency. Remember to always do these four things. Never stop learning, keep practicing, keep building and growing your portfolio and keep applying to jobs. Because remember, the moment you land your first cloud role, a world of opportunities will open for you. You can grow into a senior role, transition to freelance consulting, or even start your own cloud-powered business. Now, one final piece of advice before we wrap up that can supercharge your AWS journey. It's worth emphasizing that AWS has recently made AI the core of its ecosystem, which is a huge opportunity for anyone wanting to pursue a career in cloud computing and AI. You know that now there is a convergence happening between cloud and AI, and therefore, little by little, over time, we won't have the choice but to leverage cloud computing resources in order to build AI models and AI applications. So if you're an AWS practitioner or aspiring to work in the cloud, well, leveraging the cloud to do AI is a really smart move. And that's why you should aim to achieve the AWS Certified AI Practitioner Certification as soon as possible. And good news, it's actually one of the quickest and easiest certifications AWS offers and some of our students at CloudWolf have achieved it in under three weeks. So there you go, this certification will not only push you to develop a foundational understanding of cloud AI or cloud ML, and it will teach you how to use the cloud AI, cloud ML services, such as Amazon SageMaker, Amazon Bedrock, Amazon Recognition, or Amazon Comprehend. So all in all, by earning this certification, you will not only strengthen your knowledge, but also boost your credibility with potential employers looking for skilled professionals in AI and AWS. Now let's dive deeper into Amazon Bedrock, an innovative service that revolutionizes the way AI applications are built in AWS. Bedrock provides access to Gen AI models from different providers such as Anthropic, Meta, or Stability AI, but all within the AWS ecosystem. And one of the most exciting applications of Amazon Bedrock is to create custom chatbot applications. 
For example, recently, I built a chatbot application that speaks exactly like Master Yoda. I did that for fun, but of course, for business, you could build personal assistant applications or even customer service applications. Now, of course, Amazon Bedrock supports all the state-of-the-art generative AI techniques such as fine-tuning and LLM or RAG Retrieval Augmented Generation, which consists of augmenting the knowledge of an LLM so that it can communicate on more specific topics. And speaking of which, recently I used RAG on a pre-existing model of Bedrock in order to build a cooking assistant that would help me cook some exquisite French desserts. And finally, I saved some of the best for the end. It's one of the hottest topics at the moment in artificial intelligence. I'm talking, of course, about agentic AI. And well, great news, in Bedrock, you actually can create some intelligent AI agents capable of doing many different things, like, for example, automating repetitive tasks. Or imagine creating an AI agent that manages customer inquiries. It could automatically sort emails, respond to customer queries, schedule some follow-up calls, or even escalate some complex issues to the right team member. And all that, of course, without any human intervention. And the beauty in all this is that these agents can significantly reduce operational overheads while increasing efficiency and accuracy. And now let me ask you, just to check your reflexes after watching this video, what is according to you the best way to master Amazon Bedrock? Well, it is of course by practicing on hands-on projects that once completed, you add to your portfolio. For example, recently in CloudWolf, we built two recommender systems, one for e-commerce and one for movie recommendation. Actually, it was on the Netflix dataset. We also built a cooking assistant and many other things like a self-driving car, and we added them all to our portfolio. So I highly recommend doing the same because that's what recruiters value the most, which is your experience. And what is the most tangible proof of your experience? It is your portfolio. So with Bedrock, the possibilities are endless and its seamless integration with AWS ensures that you're leveraging the most advanced tools in the AI space. So to conclude, breaking into cloud computing doesn't have to take years. Just focus on mastering the core AWS services, building hands-on projects, adding them to your portfolio to build a top quality portfolio, earning certifications like AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner or AWS Certified AI Practitioner, and of course, showcasing your work on GitHub or your LinkedIn. For me, breaking into cloud computing was the best decision I ever made. It allowed me to create a life of tech abundance and freedom to build whatever I wanted with all my AWS tools around me, remember when I was telling you that I was feeling like Tony Stark in the cloud lab. And well, the exact same thing will happen to you if you practice on a regular basis. You'll be able to build whatever you want for whatever business purpose. So there you go, if you follow this roadmap, I'm confident it can do the same for you. So that brings us to the end of this video. You might be feeling a bit overwhelmed by all the things I said, but if that's the case, no worries at all, because we regularly hope Post free training sessions where we go through this again all together but mostly where I will share with you three hacks in order for you to grow your cloud skills at a massive level but most importantly of course to practice your cloud skills to build a top quality portfolio composed of many real-world projects and of course to earn the top certifications like certified cloud practitioner certified AI practitioner solutions architect associate and soon developer associate so i hope to see you in this live training and now if you liked this video please like and subscribe and i can't wait to give you some more tips on cloud and cloud ai in the further videos and until then enjoy the cloud